sequels, prequels, and milking a cow until it's dead. Movie studios love it. Marvel have done it for years. DC uh, kind of attempted it. Star Wars have done it so much that the cow's dead. They resurrected that thing. It died again, and then they brought it back to life once more. Now, I love most of them franchises I just mentioned, if not all of them. And, you know, more films are great. Rings of Power, they're ruining Lord of the Rings. So what else could they ruin? But I'm going to tell you the one pre, the one sequel we never thought we wanted, nor did we think we needed. My God. If you throw your, your memory back, it could be, I don't know when this clip came out. Uh, the Jail Man and the, the jail man, the man off to jail, whatever you want to call them, he uh, obviously got arrested. The person, the judge, Judy, judge, Judy, and executioner, was someone he went to school with. It was a very sad moment. They, oh, yeah, did you go to the school? Bitch, shut the fuck up, no one cares. We're here for the sequel. My God, part two is just as explosive in the underwears as the part one. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. If you are interested in watching, then stick around, grab a marshmallow, put it up your up your mouth and uh, suck on it because you'll need it like a baby because this shit is just heartbreaking. It's so sad. Uh, you know, he obviously, because there's a sequel, he didn't turn around his life. It's like in Marvel films when they bring back the same guy and he's like, oh no, he's alive. Yeah, I know. You made a second film. It's pretty clear he's going to be fucking alive here. It was a story that touched hearts across the nation. A judge recognizes a defendant charged with burglary as an old classmate and encourages him to turn his life around. But now, years later, he's in trouble again. And yes, he ended up in front of the same judge. Here's Les Trent. I mean, just they're doing this on purpose, aren't they? They knew the first one got such... I bet the lawyer set it up, didn't he? It happened in 2015, so it was ages ago. You know, some of you might have been, you know, seven. Yeah, fuck. No, you might have been young. I don't know, but I remember when this clip came out. It was crazy. Everyone was like, oh my God, imagine that. They set this shit up. This is fake as fuck. No way the lawyer and this, that didn't try and do something or, you know what I mean? This is a phony. It's like, oh my God, we got so much views, so much publicity last time. Let's do it again for fun. Just pretend to rob someone. You'll get internet famous again and you'll be out and you'll have your own podcast like the hot tour girl you'll be rich famous and you'll be loving life just pretend to rob someone quickly that's what they'll be saying it was an unexpected reunion that shocked the nation a judge about to hear a burglary case recognizes the suspect did you go to nautilus for middle school oh my goodness oh my goodness the two former classmates come face to face in a setting that neither could have ever expected this is the nicest kid <laughs> in middle school oh my goodness he was the best kid in middle school i used to play football with him and all the kids and look what has happened i'm so sorry oh my goodness it is sad i mean i have to admit that it is quite upsetting like to hear his voice and he was the nicest kid used to play football do all this that's cool you know what i mean people change i get that but you can't remember what they were like. But like I said, it'll be interesting to see what happened for him to start burglaring. I mean, you know, he might have played a bit too much Robbery Bob and thought this is it. Or Thief Simulator was like, this is fucking sick, mate. I'm going to go do it in real life, me. Nah, Madden, he wants to be a footballer. I'm off to go rob Bill Clinton's house. Arthur Booth's shame was there for everyone to see. How a promising young man could have fallen so far. Arthur Booth served 10 months in prison on the burglary rap. He was released in 2016. Oh. And guess who gave him a pep talk? That same judge. This is like watching a film, but you've read the book and you know what's going to happen. <laughs> you can't go out. It's like watching a film with your dad and he's like, don't get attached to that guy. It's like watching Game of Thrones with someone <laughs> who's seen Game of Thrones. Oh, you like Rob Stark? Well, I wouldn't, I would not follow that guy too closely. Oh, you like all the Northerners? I would not be get that attached to them. They all going to die soon. <laughs> you know what is happening to this guy right now and he's about to get absolutely slap back in prison mother mother <laughs> it is though isn't it you know he's like we're watching this and you know they get reunited and i i'm not sure this was the re reignition they thought it would be see you succeed don't right. let us down i won't i promise not to fast forward eight years later <laughs> sadly booth is in trouble once again and yet booth. just like last time he finds himself oh before goodness. the same judge mindy glazer of miami dade criminal court this time, he's charged with a string of robberies and break-ins. Booth. <laughs> <laughs> robberies and break-ins again. I mean, what is going on, Booth? Firstly, blame your mother. That's a terrible name. Secondly, 
what are you doing? He was so embarrassed, he couldn't bear looking her in the eye. Judge Glazer recused herself because of their school connection. I can't hear your case, so I'm going to get another judge to hear it, okay? So if you have a seat, somebody else will be here. She made this final expression to her former classmate. Hope things work out for you better. The judge who took over the case ordered Booth held without bond. He has pleaded not guilty. So she actually removed herself from the case because she felt, you know, she couldn't do it. It was too sad or she couldn't hear the story. Who knows what it was? Firstly, you know, fair enough. Um, you know, you're a judge. You get this sort of shit. One thing I'd like to question is how did it happen? You know, I mentioned it before. How does she, you know, he get put in front of her and then, you know, did no one have the common sense to go, fucking hell, this didn't really work out well the first time. You know, it became a bit of an internet meme. It affected him. It might have affected the jury. Not very well, though, because he still went to prison. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I ain't even a, a normal human being. You know what I mean? But then, to do it again, and then she's like, yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out, dog. I ain't doing this no more. No way, Jose. Absolutely not. I am done with this shit. I'm done with you. I gave you a hug. I told you, shut your life out, and you didn't shut your life out. And now, mother, I'm not doing my job for you. I'm going to go sit on the beach in Miami and suck in a coconut. Okay, that's probably what happened anyway. The guy's gone to prison, robbery, burglaries, whatever it is. I mean, he must not be very clever. Um, I mean, you know, for me personally, that would be a wake up. You know what I mean? If, you, you know, times are tough, you'd be like, okay. I'll be like, and I'll be like, no, in my luck, I'll see the same judge again. That same woman's gonna, gonna get me arrested again. But yeah, a bit of a sad story, but it's not really, is it? You don't care. Like I said, it's like, you know what's happening when they, when they wear that orange jumpsuit and he couldn't even look her in the eyes and she had to say, fuck this shit, I'm out. I fuck this shit, I'm out. And fair enough, she was out. Well done to her. Not so well done to him. This sequel was, you know, six out of 10. I was hoping for maybe a bit more drama, a bit more action, maybe a bit more, you know, I don't know, fireworks, a bit more CGI. Didn't quite cut it. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's not as bad as the Acolyte. It's so... <laughs> Fucking hell, certainly not as bad as, what's it, that ninth Star Wars film. I can't remember, Palpatine Rises. Skywalker. Is it Skywalker? Oh, fucking, who knows, mate, who knows? But it's not as bad, as, it is not as bad as them two. But it is something we watched. Thank you. God bless America, God bless this man, and God bless Miami. Go find Dexter Morgan, you fucks.